Hey guys, this is Joe. I'm down here in the reloading room and I uh, wanted to shoot a quick video. What I'm trying to do is is come up with a way to connect this rifle to a tripod for a more sta stable shooting platform. Um, I know they do make some stuff that um, pretty heavy duty type equipment like the hog saddle and the pig saddle uh, that type of stuff that may be a better way to go depending on what you want to use it for. If you're going to be shooting in PRS type matches or some some uh, law enforcement type stuff, I definitely go with um, the stuff that's specifically made for it. Uh, this is a 1522 MAP. I got it set up with a night vision mount with a, with a suppressor. And I just want something quick and easy I can leave on this rifle and attach it in and out of the, the tripod. I can take the tripod with me for a little added stability out in the field. So I've tried a few different methods and I think this method here is the best best one I could come up with. So hopefully I can do this fairly quick and not bore anybody. And uh, this is the tripod I'm going to use. This base plate here, you're going to need one of these. So you can use basically any tripod you want. This is a DeLuca, D-O-L-I-C-A. They're a fairly decent tripod, uh, especially for the money. I think they're about $45. So they're, the legs can fan out. These legs here can go way, way out. So you get real good stability. It's kind of acts like a higher end, like a higher end uh, tripod, but it's fairly, it's affordable. So we need this base plate. And if you want to use this tripod for other stuff, you can just buy different base plates. What I do is I drilled out the center of this, this base plate here, and I, I added these two holes because I was trying to do it a different way but it didn't seem to work out. So I'm gonna put you down here and I'm gonna show you how I did this. So I hollowed out this hole here a little wider to accept the bolt. And this length of this bolt is probably the most important part of this project. I have a, a uh, I don't know, it's not even a QD mount. It's just a cheap little um, sling stud attachment to switch your switch from a pick rail to attach maybe a Harris bipod or something like that. So these are like six, seven dollars on Amazon's where I got it. And what we're gonna do is just take it apart and use the base. So take this screw out, and if you look here, this screw is the only thing holding in holding this uh, little floating plug here, the sling stud. We don't need that anymore. We're just gonna use the exterior and this screw here. We don't need this screw, but the screw is important because if you go with a base like this. The edge of it is threaded, so you're going to need the same size thread for this. If I was going to do this again, I would take this base with me, and I would take this base with me, and I'll show you why. I got a, a longer bolt, same thread. So I'm going to thread this in. Start this here. We're going to drop our bolt through the center, and then thread this into here. Actually, you can probably leave it unthreaded if you want. It'd be easier. And then add your base plate through your hole that's widened out a little bit. Oh. You're going to need a washer. Probably a lock and washer would be a better idea. And then we're going to thread this down here. The most important part is to make sure that this nut and bolt stay below this face. Mine's a little high, I could probably go a little shorter, but it does work. Uh, that's why I would bring this base plate in with you. Because if this is too long, it won't attach to the tripod. Uh, this is gonna clip into the tripod itself, and it's gonna sit there. But if it's uh, if the bolt's too long, it's not, gonna, it's not gonna clip into the attachment on this tripod. Maybe different tripods are different, I don't know. And when you thread this bolt in, I'm going to go in, make sure your wing nut, I got a bolt with a wing nut, so it's kind of a, a quick, quick attach type thing. Make sure this floating piece here that's going to attach on the rail is on the wing side. Thread this in, pretty simple little setup, and then thread your wing on. And now if I want to take it on and off, I have a wing nut in the field that will kind of work as a QD mount. And that's it. I know this is going to fit into the into the rifle or into the tripod. I'm going to leave this attached to this rifle. That's basically all I'm going to use this this setup for is this one thing. This is pretty sturdy. I wouldn't use this in any P 
PRS or any big time shooting events or something like that or or life and death uh, law enforcement type stuff I mean this is just a basic setup so I'm gonna bring you over here and you can see how how this clips onto the how this clips onto the rail and basically it's just gonna work like any other you're just gonna find the closer to the center the closer to the center of the rifle the more balanced it's gonna be the, especially if you don't have a heavy-duty tripod so that's something to keep in keep in mind we're gonna thread that on like that and this is what it looks like just a quick and easy attachment I'm gonna leave it right here on this rifle and then when I want to use it I'll put you over here and I'll attach just the, the tripod So now the attachment on the, uh, hopefully you can see this, this just rocks in. And that's it. That's how, uh, how I got it set up. If I want to extend the legs for more stability or widen them out, it's got a wide footprint. These do uh, lay completely flat. The center column here you can use for elevation if you want to get up higher. Shooting off the ground, it's perfect. And uh, it's just a quick and easy, quick and easy setup for your to uh, for your tripod. And I'm going to do a further video. Let me come over here. I'm going to do a further video on uh, increased stability on something like this and uh, hopefully I can get that done today. So just a quick idea, I'm sure there's other people who are trying to do the same same thing I've been trying to do and uh, I figured I'd put this on the web and see what people think. So if you have any comments please, uh, please leave them and uh, I'll try to answer them as quick as possible. Alright, thanks a lot. Bye.